And welcome everybody back. Quick short break we just held there. We just completed the men's pairs final, which was taken out by Cooper Westcombe and Jared Davies from Morning Peninsula. Sorry, from Northern Gateway over the Northern Peninsula, boys. I'm having a mare right now. <laughs> it's because I've been joined by Jimmy Whitehead. Oh, that's a good job. You've got some, an experienced head coming in here, mate. <laughs> who's rubbing all his bad auras, rubbing off of me right now. So, And we are going to watch the completion of the ladies' pairs final here between the Ovens of Murray and Yarra Rangers. Jimmy, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm all good. Uh, it's not the Yarra Rangers either, but it's just, just Yarra. Um, but I'm glad I'm in to steer this ship home for the rest of today because I feel like you're getting a bit delirious, mate. <laughs> Is, is, is what I'm feeling. It's coming across that way right now. Sorry about those for everybody at home. So, <laughs> get that hashtag going. Been a long week. Um, so they're holding a couple here. The the ladies from Yarra, Sam Robinson and Alison Hall. They've actually. I've been watching the heads closely, even though we've been watching the men's pairs final, and they've definitely been the more consistent pairing at this yeah, stage right. of the match. Oh, and he's close. What a bowl. Four shot swing there. Turns two down. Is it two up? That'll even the scores. What a way to start the stream. Big ball by him, Miles. Five all. After eight. Eight in end game in this one. Yes. This has got some uh, significance on our office tipping as well, Josh. I've been crunching <laughs> the numbers in my haze all day. And this is how it's working out. If After Jared just won that, mm -hmm. JR's going to finish, I think, on 29 points. Correct. If Alison and Sam win this, I join him on 29 points. And you cannot beat us. However... If Anne and Claire win this, then you also need Lisa to win the next game to take the title out. If I'm if if Anne and Claire win and Lisa and Judy wins on the other ring, you're going to finish joint second with me and JR. I'll take it out. Right, yeah. I knew it was something like that. I haven't looked at it since this morning. I knew I was banking on the uh, Ovens and Murray win and the Sandbelt win. Um, it's looking all right for me at the moment. Sam belts three in front after ten and the ladies triple final over there. And uh, as we just seen there, Miles played a bomb there to try, try the jack for two. So you need you need the double. I need. I'm the feeling one. good about it, Jim. But you're in with the hunt. It's come down to the last two games of the week, which is exactly what we wanted it to be. As I'm sure you'd have copped in the last couple of hours. Tony knows nothing, so he's <laughs> he's out. We've probably got a couple hours left in this match too, Jimmy. Yeah, be my guess, mate. Hour and a half at least. We had a seesaw match last one that we just did with the men's pairs. It uh, the young fellas got out there. Nice and well. They looked like they were probably home at hose there at one stage. And then they dropped the three and then the tactic change come from the morning potential boys and put the mat up and put the jack on the tee. Worked. And um, actually the, the comment on the live stream was that uh, ever since Jared put the jack lost into the gap. The new, the new jack weren't fruitful for them. The new jack for worked him. for the opposition. So mm. they got in their little run. They scored 10 in a row and all of a sudden was game on to the difference. So um, the credit to the Northern Gateway boys, they, they, they stormed the flow and, uh, yeah, end up eventual winners, obviously. Yeah. Sam just crashing into that short bowl of Claire's yeah. there. Claire with an exceptional adjustment from a first to a second. Exactly. Just to give, for those watching at home, a bit of background on how these two teams got to the final. Uh, Leanne Miles and Claire Sanders combination beat Tonya Doyle and Di Roberts from Geelong in their round of 16 match then they beat Marie Scott and Roma Opie in the quarter final and then they defeated Courtney Gabb and Kelly McKeeran in the semi-final this morning and the combination of Sam Robinson and Alison Hall defeated Emily uh, Davies and Alana Flapper in the round of 16 Vicky Smith and Karen Morgan from Eastern Rangers in the quarterfinal. And Kate Lloyd and Pauline Burley from West Coast. 
in the yeah. semi-final this yeah, morning. Yeah, this morning, yep. Well, Alisson will be looking to get a, a better second now. Maybe even just turn into the, the blue bowl, short of the jack. Just going to do a fair watch. Just going to want to hurry down. Alisson, from what I've seen, he's played some very telling bowls early in this match. Just a bit short. She's one of the one of them deliveries, um, Alison. I've watched her a fair bit this week, and I've also seen her play before this week. Where I think she's driving every ball. She's yeah. got a real real big backswing, yes. and then but she has great control of her yeah. arm and her speed. And the proof is in the pudding with her results of like. Mm. Well, her and Sam are in. I think this might be their third event. Definitely the second event. Play obviously together at MCC. She's close again. She's close again. Alison, get down. Good effort. That's a great home as well. Plenty of options for her now. Might even play a bit She's of a close again. Four and close positive again. draw at this. Could do. Alison, get down. Good effort. That's no, a great home. Good support from the Alvins and Murray crew supporters back at home. We always do. Whenever we stream Alvins and Murray, they're always pretty, pretty hot on the comments. It's good to see. It's God's country, Jimmy. Uh -huh. Born and raised in the area. They took down the um, women's region sides. Correct. Shepherd in a couple of weeks ago now. Defeated Wimmer in the final. Feels like four months ago to me. But <laughs> you have been on the road the last month. Two weeks. You've had a big month, mate. You've done well. All the events are run very smoothly, so credit to you and your department for all the hard work you do. Team effort, mate. Everyone's chipped in. It's been great. I just come along for the ride and <laughs> talk some talk and muddle me words every now and then and come Stop. out looking like a goose and it's all fun. At least you got that animal right. <laughs> Very deliberate stance on the map by Sam. Close. Great effort. Good second. They got th three very good seconds there. If they can somehow extricate that ball, they'll be laughing. That's the call, quite loudly by Alison. Three seconds. Rob, the scorer on the next rink, which is the Lady Tribbles final, is currently 12 8 in favour of Sam Belt after 11 ends against Metro West. You probably even see it in that one camera angle of the scoreboard. Oh, Alice, uh, Sam, what a ball this could be, Josh. What a ball. That's a phenomenal ball. Wow, wow. great That's a bowls. Top, I'm top bowl. Of the scoreboard. Oh, Alice, uh, Sam, what a bowl this could be, Josh. You can see on the what replay. A Just That's a phenomenal throw. ball. That's two sensational balls at third position there. Jeez, you'd like your third to do that in pendant, huh? Put, oh, yeah. Put two within a bowl of one another. Roll me on the jack.
Looks like this rink, Josh. We haven't streamed from this rink. This is the one down from our st streaming rink. Looks okay. a bit free of both hands, though. Just I, I based off what I'm saying, yeah. two ends, but it's, it's hard to gauge. But look at that turn there from Han. You know, I mean, that side on the rink we've been streaming from all week's been the wider side. But mm. I wouldn't be surprised if the other hand's not turning pretty good as well, too. Mm. Bear in mind the wind that we get some occasionally. How does she get rid of this bowl of uh, players? It's, it's it's actually reasonably hard because there's it's not a big target and everything's a little bit on the line that's short as well too. So I don't know if she can split the gap between... Yellow and blue. Yeah, yellow and blue. Or whether she just tries to skirt the yellow and hope to duck down and turn it sort of with more of a drawing weighted bowl versus a... Mm. Awfully hard. Of that, she tries to get Kitty out to, as we were looking at the head to the right with a foot away, but again, it's a tough shot. Obviously, they don't think it's going to get down on the back end because no, there's been no, no attempt that way, Jimmy, mm. either. Alone looks good based off Sam's, it's just a pace. She's not far away, yeah, I know. Great effort. Sam's got a daughter inside the clubhouse watching. Mm -hmm. She's patiently waiting for the mum to be on the big TV. That's a great call. <laughs> Tell me about that ball. Interesting. It's not the way I would have asked the question. No. I think she's going to crash here. One to the Eastern Rangers for a six five. Yarra. Oh God. Jimmy. Last stream of the week, mate. I think I've lost it. You never had it. Oh thanks, mate. Wind getting up again tonight. Going the ladies are bowling into the wind. This hand. I seen this tactic from them earlier, Josh, um, Sam and Allison, the mat back and jack up sort of tactic. Let's see if they can settle back into the rhythm. Metro West win the end in the ladies' triples. We'll wait for them to update the scoreboard. So Great starter ball. here by Claire Sanders. Some very experienced pair in Claire and Anne. Yeah, we talked about their success earlier um, whilst we started the men's pairs match of what they've done the last couple of years. Mm. They're the reigning Vic Open pairs winners. Mm. Claire made the final of singles. Yeah, we talked about the region side win they had a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, they've been around for a long time and Australian over 60 representatives, so um, they're great bowlers. Would you say, based off that and the fact that they took the fours out earlier this week, 
They come in as slight favourites. Um. Oh, look. Yeah, I guess. But at the same time, I've been watching Sam Allison play this week and they've been pretty solid. So mm. I, I think it's anybody's game. The way they started the game, there's no doubt that they're right in this. If not, got a little bit of an advantage being the fact they're one in front. So uh, it's anybody's game at this stage, I would say. Windy's starting to pick up, isn't it? It's been blowing a bit like that for a while, Jim. It, uh, it's I've got a in. bit of chill about it too. Yeah, I've been in the sanctuary of the office most of the day. <laughs> yeah. Hiding from the elements. Oh, I know. And people, I've got to be honest, I've been hiding from people. I've mentioned uh, I sent someone down to get a bag of concrete. Yeah, I heard that. From Bunnings. Yeah, I haven't been fe- I've been feeling a bit under the weather today. I've got a massive... Toothache. I did cause me know this. You know, grief. I only am having a go to ingest. You are a good mate of mine, so. Mm. Oh, listen, there's some cracking on there. There's definitely more turn on the forehand this way than on this rink than there was on rink 12. That is for sure. With a kangaroo in the background. I well, might be looking for a blanket soon myself, Jimmy, just to, you know, want a bit more. Yeah, good ball by Ant. Gets a touch as well. Yeah, good ball by Ant. <laughs> and just want to put a yard in. Should go close. Oh, she's going to do some damage here. No. Oh. Narrow is the target mm. for him. Glenn, um, I think I think it is having a little bit of an effect on the green, the wind. Um, if you look at our flags and wind socks around the traps, um, it's definitely come from the south and also across the green from east to west as well. So that uh, there's no doubt for the the wider side is the hand that Anne's playing right now, and she she knows she's missed a line. She just gave a little bit of a leg kick there in frustration, <laughs> you know. So, um, and obviously playing this way, which they're playing right now, is into the wind. So they've got to make sure their bowls are up. There's probably more shorter bowls than longer bowls at this stage. So yeah. Same on the rink over in the ladies as well. Now, Joy, this is something I don't know because this is a live stream match that. Um, We've sort of basically gone from one to the other. I haven't had the chance to do my homework. Looking at the bowls, they do look like Taylor's. I'd say Sam's bowls are Dreamline XGs. And both Anne and Claire are in Dreamline XGs as well. So the only one I can't confirm is Allison's bowl. But they do look like a blue Taylor of some sort. Great effort by Sam. Taylors are a proud partner of Bowls Victoria, Jimmy, so we thank you for their ongoing support as while we're speaking about it. I'll give you a dollar oh one that Lucas comments something about Taylor Bowles in the next five minutes. I uh, no doubt. And the fact that you actually now said it that he's watching it, he'll he'll no doubt put a comment in there. Um, Barbara, no, we've had no rain today. I believe we had some overnight, obviously yesterday, which caused the uh, Interruption to some of our play, but um, touch wood, we no to, rain. Yeah, we, we we lost we lost the back end of a game yesterday. We lost 14 ends. It was essentially, and you know what, we've we've been up here in May this year, which is not our normal time slot for these for this state champions week. Um, obviously, no covered green up in Bendigo, and we've only managed to lose 14 ends essentially of bowls, which was last night, which we had to catch up this morning. I think we've had a pretty good. Um, pretty good effort. Um, we will 100% be looking to bring it forward for next year. Just COVID and starting the season late pushed us all the way back here.
Looking over the other head, I feel like the Metro West guys are holding three or four shots here at this yeah, end. Well. Well, the Ovens and Murray ladies are holding at least two here. Lisa rips one ball out of the head. We'll see what the call is here. Don't think, don't think Alison likes this. I can't. W trying to read her body language. She can work from there. Oh wow! Second shot. Uh, Metro West picked up two on that end of the ladies' triples final, and is now 12-11 in favour of Sandbelt after 13 ends. Oh, Annie Miles. What nice. a ball. What a ball. Made a few. Two. Th three, oh, maybe. It's hard, to, yeah, it's hard two, to tell two the other. Two Right, Alison will be looking on the... Something similar. Her yeah, weight was yeah. good, as, as, as we just heard Sam saying. She just probably wants to be a bit narrower. She can't get to that jack. Jack it over to Sam's yellow behind. Yep. Oh, I think the ball's turning now. Actually, a yeah, speed herder as well. I'm a bit worried this marquee we're sitting under is going to take off any minute soon. Yeah, that's why occasionally, Jimmy, if you ever noticed, I've got up and pushed, pushed, the, pegs pushed the pegs back down. They blew our raspberries off the table too. Joking. You don't need any more of those lollies though, do you, Jimmy? No, not with my... Too fake. And won't be playing much dissimilar to our last file, wouldn't have thought. Just try and draw in there. She doesn't want to get any jack back. No. But if she can get to inside of Alice, she's always yep. better off playing a wider line. Try and get has inside done. the blow. Yeah, I don't think it's. I can't even see it because goes in the way. Jeez, look at that rip. Mm-hmm. Getting some good turn from out that hand. So I'm gonna stick a measure on.
Mm. Just the one, Josh. One it is. Six or again, Jimmy. After ten ends. Close one. Eight ends to go, mate. Not going to lie, I'm counting down a little bit, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this match, but... You get the drive back up to Swan Hill tonight after this, pal. I am, Jimmy, yes. Heading back home. See my family. Fair play. Sleep in the comfort of my own bed. Yeah, fair. I do not think I would make the drive home tonight, hence I'm staying. And I'll... I was going to say a bit tight, but you can sort of get a feel. Oh, no, he's done a bit of turn at the end there. The wind is holding it a bit. The wind is coming across the green as well now, towards sort of like forehand and backhand as we are down this ring. I feel like that's still probably just marginally the narrow hand based mm. on the wind, but it's still getting some good turn. So this is this will turn with the wind. Oh, yeah. Just a bit quick. I appreciate all the messages of support. We're just glad it's all gone smoothly and, I mean, mainly the rain stayed away. And It's been good to see everyone's faces again and playing competitive bowls and actually finishing the season in some form of normality. Even the last year's state championships we got done, you know, on top of that, you know, so it's uh, you've done a stack of work and it has been great to be back out playing bowls this year. You're going to be playing in it next year, Josh, rather than commentating on the side? Oh, that's always my plan at the start of the season, Jim. Just them pesky extra ends, so. eh? Oh, yes. Losing three region finals doesn't help the situation. <laughs> oh, well. I've got a year to work with you. Get you better prepared. I don't think anybody wants me commentating next year with some of the gaffes I've done. <laughs> yeah, if anyone thinks they're... Uh up for some commentary over Josh, just send your resume through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make Josh reapply for his position next year anyway. In the commentary booth, that is. I do find that a bit harsh, considering I've done the more <laughs> hours in this uh, live streaming week. That's what you're here for. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> uh, no, Lucas, not you. Yeah, not required, <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> just taking a dig at our smiling assassin mate Lucas Pratapapa there. Right, some room for Allison. Someone will want to own the end here and get the shot. How'd she go? Looks handy to yeah, me, mate. All on a speed. It's the best of the bunch for me. Sam threatening the bowl with chalk. And it slowed down. It's exactly what they needed this end. Some bowls coming out at the end in the uh, ladies' triples. A couple of rings over. Just wait and see. What? The Tara's holding the mat. Ooh, Ooh. Is that a five to Sam bowl over there? I'm pretty sure that's what Kel just said. Which was a big bounce back from the ends. Well, the scoreboard's about to get updated, so we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> it was a four, Jimmy. Four. Score is now 16-11 in favour of Sam Belt after 14 ends over Metro West.
when are the winners of these finals get to head a, head off to Broadbeach where it would definitely be warmer than it is here tonight um, in October to represent Victoria in the Nationals I don't think it ever gets that cold up in Broadbeach shipping <laughs> We'll have a big, big Victorian contingent later in the year for those nationals. Mm. Oh, close, close, Josh. Great ball. Oh, yep, just a shot. I think Adam's we'll last big, call as it arrived was Victorian behave. contingent later <laughs> in the year for those <laughs> nationals. No gap. Mm. Oh, close, close, Josh. Great, Great bit of both oh. and ended up falling in the right direction for her. Been a lot of uh, changing of shots in these two or three ends we've watched. Yeah, no, there have been some great heads, and considering the conditions, the wind, let alone the cold, um, there's been some brilliant balls being played. As Sam comes down, he nearly draws a shot herself. Yeah, and it's a bit uncommittal on. <laughs> it might have been us putting Claire off then. Is that us? Something I've never noticed until now is Claire's got a, a glove on her other hand too. Wish I had a glove on my hand. <laughs> I can't wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should I get a piece of her own? Yeah, it's not the worst bowl. Gives them chances around that corner. I've got a hardy few here watching. Sam's going to go close again yeah, there, Josh. very close ball. It's just going to want to hay a bit. Ooh. Oh, jeez, Jim. I don't know what's going on there. It's like they're both giving away a shot with the last balls. I think she might still hold no, it. I reckon so, yeah. yeah. But so Anne's got good chances here. of room for Anne. She can draw absolute. I think there's more chances of being that little bit positive. I'm not saying anything more, but it's just a positive draw shot. Mm. The land the bowls will get the jack. It's got to hang a bit longer. It's got to hang a bit longer. Very good. Oh, well, that sh should be shot. I yeah, think. kind of fell back as well. Gee, she wasn't far from getting that jack around the corner. I feel very evenly matched, these guys. Yes, they are. Close. Allison has looked far away either. What an end this has been. Oh, Jack's going. Where's that going? Oh. I've got a clue who's got shot there. We'll wait and see if we can get any reaction from the, the ladies. Could be either or. I can't believe that if Claire put a finger, like a thumb up then to suggest they had it, but it's close either way. 
it sort of favours them a bit more now as well. You, you, you yeah. if, if I'm Claire and Anne, I, I almost want to be down in this situation because any touch on the on the balls, if you get the split, you're pushing Jack straight over to where Claire's balls are. So you're almost better off not having shot to force yourself to play that positive ball at it. And when we say positive, we're only talking a foot or two weight. They've but got everything behind. But there's yeah. two there's two of Claire's balls, the blue and white splice ones, and then also the, the I don't know, Lolic one of, of uh Anne's there as well. Jack there makes three, four if the ball you hit goes with it, if Van's ball goes with it. But probably three because you're gonna come through um Allison's. Yeah, you roll it over twice, it'll jack off spring a bit further than what the ball comes over and Triples next door, 16-11 after 14, mate. The way of Sambelt. 16-11 after 14, yep. Sambelt. Would you be still in shorts in this situation, Jimmy, playing? Yeah, mate, I'm not a trouser bowler. Yeah, I never have been, I. never will be. But I reckon I'd be freezing right now if I was in shorts. I don't... I don't I've never owned a pair of bowls trousers. I don't think I ever will. My legs are pretty good as well, you know, so... <laughs> pretty what, <sorry? laughs> Pretty good, my legs, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anne's playing forehand. If you can look to maybe swing around her own and get to the... Sh that is not the shot I would have played. Is it maybe a shot where they've got... They Correct. They've got shot, and it forces Allison to be very erring on the side of caution. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> you almost don't want to bowl your bowl, even though you're down. That sort of. But no doubt we'll see an umpire or some after this. I still would have played the other shot, I reckon. Mm. But that's not saying Ian didn't play the right shot. I'm just saying, I think in my mind, I would have played the shot. It's risk award, isn't it, mate? Yep. And the game's this close, six all. <coughs> Judy has trailed a jack to the sandbelt ladies mm. over there. So that'll be one or two as well. She was looking at being positive and play a bowl out and caught, caught a bit of jack and it went over to where Tara's ball was, the lead for Sam Belt. So that would make that one 17-11 after 15, the way of Sam Belt. So three ends to go, six the diff. Oh, see what Alison does. Can't quite work out who's got shot. If she's down, her be she's better to go big weight to kill. Which I always think she's doing with her delivery, but she's not. I like a line. Don't think she has the pace. No. Just shy. I'm what? One of the Evans and Murray yeah. crew. So, I'll take them in the lead for the first time in this game, I think. Didn't yeah, quite, no, I didn't quite catch her first few no, ends. No, they, they haven't hit the front. They've, they've levelled a couple of times and then... 7-6 after 11 ends. 7 to go. So we count down to the finale of this State Champions Week. Best start, a couple of three feet over by Claire.
Great starter there by Sam. Great lead bolt. Handy reply there by Claire. One in the head. Yeah, another great lead bowl. And he'll be looking to get down here and split the two. It's just a bit high, but come to a good home. It looks like Allison's looking to come down here and try and change the head herself before and gets to it. Yeah, good bowl here by Ant. Changes the head up, moves it maybe one or two down still, but it's a lot different. For those watching at home, you can see the score in the background of the ladies' triples final, which is currently being played. Sam Belt is leading 17-11 after 15 ends. Now holding one or two shots here at the moment. Claire pointed well here. Needs just to hang a little longer to skirt past Allison's bowl. Speed was good. I think the issue remains for
Claire and Ian here is that the forehand which they were playing is probably a bit blocked up now with Sam's last bowl. So I think the deliberation is around whether they change hands, which they've still got chances. They can actually dead draw it underneath Claire's own bowl. She can get up to the yellow bowls and go awfully close to a shot. No, a bit more attacking. It's not far away. Needs to hang a bit longer. Gets one out of the way. Lucas Jimmy's nicked off for the moment. He's uh, just uh, having a little break. Um, I'm sure that sort of information regarding pennant dates next year will be all in due course, mate. Be interesting to see whether Ian plays a very similar way to shot to Claire's or whether she tries to opt for the draw shot. She's a little unlucky there. She happened to be a bit wide. She turned one of the Yarra Bowls over. I reckon they're currently three down in this head. Two at least. Interesting to see if they're holding three. Is she going to try and draw in another one and make it harder for the opposition to get in there? I do see a sneaky chance here for Alison Apple to miss of getting the jack sideways yeah, number to crew nice for, a, for a, oh, a big number out there. It's a good setup for them at the moment, though. If she can get this roll, she's going to add another if she gets under. Goes close, adding another. Yeah, close. And the way I'd play it too, though, Jimmy, is that if you play it quick and you hit the first one, well, you're going to clear one or two out, right? And if you just skirt it, you're going to go very close to getting a piece of the air jack to get that result. I think the way they had set it, it actually situated, it's going to be hard to draw one. So that's why I think I'd be playing that shot. You can get that jack sideways, you're going to make six or seven. Mm. Big bowl. Big bowl all around. If she gets it or misses, there's a number on the side of it, I think. I believe so. Well, the only is Alison does have a bowl to come mm. if Ian does happen to get it. But definitely a big bowl for the Ovens and Murray pair. You can see how she's shaping. Yeah. She's coming now. Oh, yeah. Coming now. He's got to clear the first. Oh. As I said, Probably cuts a couple out. Cuts though. a couple out. It was a great shot because there was options there. Played thought, it well. Halfway down, I actually thought that <laughs> was going to Played it well. Yeah, 
year old. Alison probably wants to repeat the dose from her last bowl, which was just got in the count, we think. So does that again, she'll be good. I don't think that gets in. Mm. She probably almost needed to be around then, Josh. Takes us to 8 7 in a seesaw and a fair. It's been good. It's tight. Two thirds of the way through the match. Another six to come. The women's triples final are playing their second to last end. Five up to the Sunbolt ladies. They are holding maybe. Yeah, it's close for shot, but any movement of Jack by Lisa on the draw is all to them. Don't hear any yelling or. Oh, gee, she was close yeah. for no yelling. Good start of there by Sam. Yeah, go the um I've, sorry, have gone the um map back. Jack up. Tactic. The Metro West team scored on that end. I'm just trying to clarify how many it was, just the one. So with an end of play in the ladies triples final. Four down. Sam Bell leading by four. Colder today, Josh, or colder last Tuesday? I reckon last Tuesday. Oh, uh, I'm not convinced. It's catching up. Though. I'm not convinced, Jimmy. <laughs> it's catching up. <laughs> Nigga balls by Sam. Couple in early. I can't wait for next year's state champs, which will be in warmer weather. We sit here in shorts, watching finals. Well, you haven't announced any dates yet, Jim, but I know you're planning for it, so it's mm. good to hear that you're planning for that. I love the cold, but <laughs> nah. I reckon every final's been good, Matt. Well, most of the ones we've covered have all been competitive, yeah. even. It's probably only one that wasn't really that close. Yeah, the mixed pairs. Yeah, Ali and Kelly were dominant in that final. But they were very—they're very experienced, high-class players who just sort of played with that mentality the whole game, really. I don't think Karen and Stan did too much wrong that day. They just came up against two international superstars, really. Annie Whitehead, you were here last Tuesday night watching the finals. Yeah, yeah. if you were a real fan, Ann, you'd be here as well today. <laughs> nah, joking. <laughs> no one else would blame you for not being here in this cold. You know, a good ball by Allison, grabbing shot. Holding a couple early doors, three maybe. It's probably the loosest end from the Owens and Murray girls since we've joined the stream. Yep.
Yeah, he's probably holding for you at the moment, Jimmy. But mm. there's still room. Like, uh. Claire was clapping her early, so she thinks it's better than, than her last ball. Needs to connect with no someone. would be great. Ooh. Yeah, gets all the holes. All right. There's a question there for you on the stream, Jimmy. What's on next for BV events? A break. <laughs> a break. Back to Benny going in about two weeks. Yeah, we've got City versus Country at the end of... Um, Ladies first. End of, end of May, yeah. We've got the women's on the 22nd, 23rd. Men's on 29th, 30. Um, and then we the next event we have in Vic is the indoor qualifying, which is the 10th, 11th of July. So entries for that will be open pretty soon. Just keep following our Facebook and page and website. I'm spending a week with BA up at Oz Open, helping them out, doing some... I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm doing some commentary, some event management stuff with them, so it'll be good. Sneak some games in myself while I'm up there. Yeah, I'll be up there myself, second week. Mm. But yeah, we'll... We're, once I get back to the office next week, it'll be sort, sort of next season, schedule out, pennant out, all that sort of stuff, so... Should be hearing. Oh, there by Claire. They needed one of those in there. They sure did. You should be hearing all of that stuff. Um, in the next few weeks. Now you can have that, Matty. You can take the buzz of the Arctic because <laughs> it's not on my radar. I'll give you the tip. <laughs> oh, I'd go the Arctic. I just don't think I'd go there to sit in commons out bowls. Sam Jack? No, just drifting. Claire on a slightly narrow line, I think. Yeah. All in a speed, though. She can clear the blue one, Alice, and she's... Don't think she no, will. she isn't, unfortunately. What do you think? One, two? It's hard to say from this angle. If the ladies are any good, they'd actually signal to us. We're actually uh, getting Cooper and Jared to signal to us <laughs> because we're giving them some stick on the stream and their old man was then relaying the message and the next minute they stopped doing it again. Lorraine Browley in the background there. She's been here marking and officiating all week for us. She's been great. <coughs> the ladies' triples finals have got four bowls to go, two each from the skippers. At the current head situation, uh, Judy's going to have to do something drastic, whether it's a dead end or something, to change it up because they're not getting a four the way it currently stands. This is cracking line by Allison. This is a great bowl. Great bowl. Awesome. Yeah, owns it. And she's going to look down there, play that positive draw shot. She can get a little bit of jack and make two herself if she's mm. marginally overweight. Yeah, close. Yeah, she's coming now. She's coming very close. Oh, great ball. Oh, it's a sensational ball, by Anne. Great skipper's ball. You can see how many seconds the Yarra mm. team have here. I'm sure there'll be some form of positivity here.
here we go. Next door. Lisa attempted a blocker. I don't know whether it is or not. It is short, but I don't know if it's actually blocking. And they're trying to stop Judy from playing a big bowl here, somehow making a four, killing the end. Judy's going in for a look. We'll keep you informed. That is the last end of the triples final for the ladies. Going to want to hang on. Tight. Yeah, he's going to want to hang on. Doesn't have the pace for it. Just going right to the wire, this one. Oh, I think it will be, Jim. I think we're definitely going to be playing an 18th end, and it's going to be a ding-dong battle. Oh, you know, my throw a 19th in there for some fun. Well, if you want to stay in the cold longer. <laughs> I know our technicians don't. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I don't think she liked that. Yeah, I don't think it got out of her hand well. But it's it's not a pass, yeah, right. I, like, I, like the, I like the cast on it. What was all that about? Great balls. That's another one. Great balls. Well, they're looking at more than two here. Two have been pulled out. Looks like the... F Has she got four fingers up there? I see four. So those two wing balls that Claire's actually might be counting. Surely not. Wow, eh? Jeez. How difference does it look just being sold on rather than right behind it? It's mad. I can inform everybody at home that the Sandbelt trio of Tara Ferrier, Kelly McKeeran and Lisa Phillips have won the final. Now, I think they got one on the last end to go to 2013. Three. Three to the ladies from Mothers of Murray. Great pick up. And he sink, swings back the other direction. That's the first big number, Jimmy. There's only been, uh, uh, up before that, two was the highest mm. score. So, Jimmy, in the context of the tipping, that just brings me a lot closer. It's pretty much, if Alison and Sam get the win, me and Ian Ewan finish on top joint. If... And Miles gets the win. You win it out, right? And uh, that will seal that win for the Sandbelt ladies. Will seal the Vic Trophy, which is awarded to the region that has. Uh, the most accumulative points um, across the over 60s events, the novice events, and state champions weeks. So Sambelt will take the Vic Shield. Um, Yarrow won it down in Warnable, but um, I, without having the sheet in front of me, I can't tell you the points. But I am 99.9% .9 sure Sambelt <laughs> will take out the Vic Shield now. I hope you're right, Jimmy. Someone will come hunting for you if you're not. I was going to say, just before Alison bowled down there, I was looking at one of the cameras. Jared was very close to hitting one of the cameras earlier. Twice. <laughs> the one that went through the gar uh, the groundkeeper's shed was awfully close, and then one where he down killed Down there, it. yeah. Yeah. You should have seen Brad's face. <laughs> A bit worried, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Sam getting be, stiff yeah, there. Don't be happy about that. Speaking of the Vic Shield, I'm pretty sure Barb's walking around with it in the office over there, so she's obviously working out as she goes too. I'll take it. Couple of loose ones there by Claire. She wouldn't be happy about that. She's lucky to get one of them punched in and the other one behind. At least the second one is behind.
So this is the last uh, five ends of State Champions Week. Let's see you can get the final win. Yeah, Alison just pulling short as well. Not a bad home there for me, Ian. She won't be disappointed about that one. <laughs> yeah, Alison and I just want to come underneath her last. Yeah. Try and nestle into them balls, get the jack, just change some of it up. There's probably a, a potential that the pace has dropped in the last half hour too, Jimmy, where they're just slightly trying to adjust to it as well. Mm -hmm. The lights are on. All close. Can she get the fat edge of it? She does. She does. Ray, I reckon it's probably well. it was around 14 today anyway. Well, so if it's dropped off, it's only marginally. Bear in mind, we had a dumper rain yesterday and, and a dumper overnight as well. Not as much as some parts of Victoria. They sang goodbye to Brad Lancaster, who was heading towards Lakes Entrance today. Yes. They had to do 35 to 45 mil worth of rain this afternoon. It's ridiculous. We we are exceptionally fortunate we didn't cop anywhere near that. But yeah, we had a bit of a dump late, about this time yesterday, which meant we had to. Um, Push the remainder of the ladies' triples um, semi into this morning. Probably only like probably lost 14 ends or so. Um, the issue that did create was Kelly McCarran was in both that and the and the pairs. So I almost played havoc with our schedule today, but it's okay. Um, Claire is on a good track here. Yeah. She's looking to get through her own. She wants to repeat the dose. What Alison just did, land a bowl and push it into sh oh, push it into she for sure. Far away. But yeah, with that dumper rain, the green's obviously a bit slower, and because it's been cold today, they probably haven't dried out as quickly as um, they can. But still, great surface, still going a good 14 seconds-ish. Yeah, Sam's... Not far away. Bowl... Makes two. Probably Ma changes the next shot. Yeah. And she does have that, that one of her um, yellows from before in a very handy home there now. So if Claire does manage to just get there and tickle in, the kitty. Ian and Claire, though, have the three back as if they ever want to attack. Close. Get down a few to the gaps, ball. though. There's one of them. Makes it a bit better, though. Not completely wasted. No. Again, being the score that they're two in front, I'd be actually chasing a jack. Mm. Sam's just going to get to that jack first. She can get that front touch here, bring it down to the side and the laugh, and she, she's on a tight line for me. Depends what happens when she touches this yellow. No. Doesn't quite flop Falls it. backwards.
Right, and he's played some big bowls the last few ends. Yeah, I don't see any difference what, what, in terms of what I called. I think she'd be trying to play something similar. Land the bowls, get the jack. It's coming now, Jim. Handy. It's coming now. Drawn up slow. It's coming now. Oh, wow, geez. that is. She copped a right lot of time then. I actually thought, Hande. oh, two Hande. yards yeah, out, she was drawn up. Slow. I thought there. The jack, yeah, I'm going with I, yeah, so. Wow, that the is. Can XG's to hook like that is uh, impressive. Shows you the green and a bit of wind as well. I reckon it's colder than Tassie right now, right? <laughs> So by my calculations, this is pretty decent line. It's all on the pace. Short. Yeah, no pace. Yeah, that creates a bit of a funnel there if she wants to play that shot, Jim. Hmm. Yeah, you hear Claire, she goes, can you see that kitty? <laughs> oh, I see that kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I'd get the kitty or not is another thing, Jim, but... <laughs> As I said, in the context of the game, they're two up. If they happen to get one out, well, guess what? They're still one up playing the next end. But if they get that jacked in the back, it's worth four or five. Bit of time on the mat, then Josh. Oh, close. She said, Jack, Jack, Jack. Oh, she no. Hasn't got a oh, that was close. That was extremely close. It's ridiculously close. Chance though to reverse that three that they dropped last end if she can draw another in Allison here. I think she'll be looking to get around her own, the front one on the right as we look at it, and sort of then get the bend back in. Yeah, oh, we see the turn when you play draw weight. It's hooping. Uh, yeah, she's got to clear that bowl. Does. Gets a bit of jack. Makes definitely two still. I feel like it could be only two. It's hard with, yeah, with... I, 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 the, the purple bowl is jack high just about. I reckon three, you know. No, yeah. three, good call, Jimmy. They take the lead. Back. Back. It is seesawed every end. 11 10. Four to play. Who are you backing, mate? Well, you know who I'm backing, Jim, because <laughs> uh, uh, the tipping is weighing on this actual match. Is, there's a lot know, riding on this. There's some, some, office, some, office some office pride, yeah. Some office pride. Plus, the Elms of Murray is my home area where I grew up, Jim. Fair enough. I've noticed these Yarra players perform a lot better when there's no Mata Tobre around coaching. <laughs> As he was at the uh, region size, is that what yeah. you're referring? Yeah, yep, yep. Well, it's good to see Sandbelt back, back, bounce back from the region size as well too, Jim. Yep. Bit of a disappointing one for them there. But they've performed well this week. Yep, first start. 
they've all been very evenly matched, which always leads to a great contest. All on Sam's pace, I don't think she's here this time. No, Ethan. Nah, weekend off, balls, Ethan. Oh, I'm in Byron Bay with my phone off. I'm going to visit my family back in Wagonia and Corowa. Jimmy. Alright, so Alison with a bit of room to try and nail the shot if she can. I wouldn't say anyone's rushing out here, are they, mate? They're taking it very no, seriously. And well, it's a state final, Jim. Mm, taking the time. <laughs> Going to Broad Beach is on the line here for the Australian Championships, so um, yeah, taking their time and playing the right shot is on the cards. Bit quick, but should be happier when he hit that ball. Ball here by mm -hmm. Fair effort. Wants the hang on. We need to get Jack. Kicks oh. the jack to Annie. Oh. Yeah. That's one still to Evans and Murray, according to Clay. Just has to play the same ball and she'll yeah, be out. correct. In the right country, it's all in the speed now. Close. The only Just could, look, could so, yeah. Sam's just going to repeat that dose back. Even if she can n nudge the front of Anne's sideways or gets it out of the way, yeah, because yep. it's right, right in the frame at the moment. Unless she comes inside out it with a bit of pace. Um, we haven't seen too much aggression. Been a, been a bit of a draw bowlers game this one. So I would be slightly surprised if she come and swung at it from backhand, but it's the way she's lining up, Josh. Yeah. Are you I surprised? Saw the, no, I saw the call from Allison. Yeah. We haven't seen too much of this in the... I don't know how quick it'll be. I imagine it'll be reaching. That it is. Oh, mate. Just going now. Yeah. It's a very good sighter though. And sits that back bowl, so. Probably 
a, a good consolation prize there. Yeah. Because without that, any jack sort of that is going to go that way. Now they've got something out there to use. Clears lines nice here. It's tracking well. Good ball. Oh, great ball. Oops. I don't think she wants to change it back over. No, I think she should commit to that shot again. It's very tough to draw a shot in there. I think Josh has been spending most of his nights learning his animals, to be honest. I haven't seen him in the bar anyway. He's been at home studying with his book, FaceTiming his two-year-old. He's definitely got a better grasp on Australian wildlife than you have, pal. I think you're right, Jim. <laughs> we might need to just go back to basics and start with sounds and then work up from animal sounds. <laughs> I reckon we'll see a bit more weight this time, Jim. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Close. Gets it. And gets the kill. I think she gets a kill. Yep, gets a kill. As we head back the other end. No, thank you, Karen. You were front and centre of one of our streams this week. So we appreciate all the players being so flexible and um, positive to, to jump on the stream and keen to do it. We haven't had anyone say no, so that's, a, that's also a good, good sign. So we'll replay the 15th end. Four to go in this one. 11 10 to Yarra. The girls from Yarra continuing the map back, jack up tactic. It was a good hit by Sam. Last end. To kill it. She's probably about three down as well, so she should be happy with the result of that. It's like a fair start to me, this. Yeah, goodbye, by Sam. So go just under by Claire. Wait, might keep her around. Yeah, looks like still one to Sam to me. Great weight again. 
Finishing in a in a reasonable home. Click just under. So one to Yara as they move into the second balls. See what Allison can do. They lead by one. Good ball. Yeah, great ball. Holding a couple now. Any time, Kaz. Just hopefully not. As cold next time would be amazing for us. Just probably give me anywhere between 10 or 15 degrees more than what we currently have, and that'll do me. We appreciate all the support on the stream for the players as well. I always give a mention in my presentations after finals of, of, of all the support that uh, the players have had and um, it's been very good for all players all regions have been represented well and it's just, just enjoyable and good for the game and anything that's good for the game we're more than happy to, to do Absolutely It's quick, that's all. It was getting down nicely. Wind still blowing, sort of, from that forehand to backhand sort of direction. It's dropped so a little bit, but it's just... Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's, it's gusty. Yeah. Like it's very gusty. We haven't got the marquee moving around as what we had earlier. Right. Right. Sam can really put some pressure on the Ovens and Murray ladies now. Close, Josh. Oh, it's going early, actually. I went the early crow. No, you've done that a few times, Jim. Ca causes some nuisance on that backhand. Tonight is the last night, Spurry. I'm not driving home, though. I'm a bit, a bit tired tonight, <laughs> to be honest. But I'm not a great day with some toothache, so... But I'll be home for a day tomorrow, catch up with a little one, and then we're heading to Byron on Thursday. So it's all very well earned. Looking forward to it. I concur. I reckon you've definitely earned it, Jimmy. It's good. It's like a like festival of bowls. All right, I think Claire's a bit skinny. It's hard to see through Annie's legs. Um, yeah, and short. All right, so Sam can put the hammer down here. Big ball. She yeah, if she can turn it first, I think that's the idea. Turn it first, Correct. take the danger away. Force them to play some raking shots. We do love it when a final's close like this. Especially when there's bragging rights on for me and Josh on it. It's <laughs> even better. Close, Josh, bowl. No, I actually couldn't have thought she'd get through there like that. Gone to a decent home as well. Yeah. They do have all the bowls that side of the head as well, at the back. 
I think I'd be playing by the very back Claire one. that yeah, it's going to go past regardless. She's definitely wider. Yeah, I think. All on her way, I think she's going to be a touch quick. Right, this could get a bit fun now. The way the game's been going, if anyone scores a four or a five, it's really going to blow it wide open. There's I've been a couple of threes. Two threes are lost, mm. two ends. But Trading I think a threes. four or a five, and if they can defend it, then they'll go very close to winning this um, state title in the ladies' pairs. I like the track on this yeah. as well. She's playing that positive way too, where she might turn it herself first. Change the head. I expect some decent weight here, Jimmy. How many do you think they're holding? Do you think it's just one? Or it's, oh, uh, look at, it's hard. It could be two. If she could get... if I, I mean, look, it depends what Annie does, but if Alison get it, can get a small trail to the, to the left... Oh, yeah. You might need two hands to signal how many you're scoring. I would, I would definitely need two hands. <laughs> I don't mind having enough fingers. <laughs> oh. mm. Country's already Jim. It's all the speed very well. She's clear likes it. Great effort. Nearly drawn shot. Great ball. I don't think it changes the shot unless you can't now see the jack. I think she just has to get to the ball. The way, look, again, it's hard because the way the head is and so we don't have the direct sort of look at the where the jack is. But to me, if she lands that last bowl, pushes push the jack, it. it'll mm. push it into her, her own bowl of Allison's and then probably squeeze it sideways towards where all their bowls are. Yeah, I agree. She's she shown the, a, a yard away. She's shown, though, Annie, pr like more than, more than a couple of times tonight that um, her experience is comes to the four and she just will always nail a big ball when she needs it. Damien, this is the we're playing the fifteenth end of an eighteen end match. It's not far away, Jim. Close. Not far away. Can't see. It's hard for us to see with Sam. Oh, she does it. She oh, nails it. That's sensational. That's brilliant. Trying to get a replay a going of that. Away. Can't see. It's hard for us to see with Sam. You can see oh, she does it. She oh. nails it. Jack oh, just walks away. The brilliant. yellow and blue balls of Sam and that's five, Allison Jimmy. is. That is five at the moment, I reckon. Wow, that's a huge ball. It's a terrific ball by Allison. Game changer bowl, mate. Absolutely game changer. Game changer for the tipping comp. <laughs> Big bowl here for me. In. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Cut in five. We think. She's coming four runs still, hey? Takes her time. Poor hand shot. Really, she gets any of that pack. So yeah, it's, it's all positive. It's all yeah. positive. Have a look here. All right, Josh. Close. It's playing a bit firmer. She's Close. just got to clear the yellow. Oh. oh. Her bowl come up, though. He's probably actually cut two or three out. Yeah, I reckon it's only three now. From our angle, and it's also not very good on our angle normally. One for sure. Who knows? 
Who's second? Dos. Tres. Three. Okay. So still a good end for the Yarra team. I thought the bow of Ann's kept rolling up enough to maybe cut a few out. Yeah. She wasn't far from actually punching. Oh, well, there's four. I'm clear saying that's your lot, Sam. I honestly thought she'd cut more out than that, but maybe it was more than five to Yara. Wow. Alison played a humdinger of a bowl. That's huge in the context of this game, Jimmy. Humdinger of a bowl. Three left. Six the diff now. Eight shots and two ends for the girls from Yara. Been a great match so far. Mm. Is there going to be another swing back, Jimmy? I've got no clue. It's, <laughs> it's gone back and forth and back and forth the whole time that we've been with this game. That was one of the best balls I've seen all week and in the circumstance. Do the Ovens of Murray girls do anything different here, do you think, Jim? Uh, no, they just sort of succumb to a very good bowl of Allison's there. Um, they haven't been far away for a while, yeah. they get a number themselves, have they? And look, Annie now the bowl beforehand as well. So, to, to cut it down to one, but I guess the only thing they needed to do different that end was to probably have a few more of their earlier bowls in. Um... Yeah, good balls by Sam. That will definitely give the Allison and Sam a, a very big lift, though. Picking that up. No doubt. Right. I might copyright humdinger, Bob. <laughs> that was a humdinger. Look, the Avons and Murray girls experience. I'll look at it and go, right, we need six and three ends. It's three twos. And it'll get us an extra end. If they get a couple ones, they'll still be thinking about maybe that number in the last end to get them home. Mm -hmm. That's your catchphrase, Spence. I'll leave good thanks to you. Oh, Alison. Great bowling. I told you to give him some confidence. Mm, I 
Uh, That's your catchphrase, Spence. Positivity here. I'll leave good Play that yard or two away where you miss. Get to a good home. Oh, Alison. Great. He doesn't like that one. Good call by Sam. It's where it's going if it does get hit. Needs to skirt that blow. Doesn't. Yeah, it's still still an opening yeah. for uh, Ovens and Murray. Right, what does Sam do? Just do what oh, she called I think, Alison. I think you've got to try and cover. Yep. you got a good three there at the moment. It's just starting to slip away from Ovens and Murray. Not over, though. No. They're going to probably require a couple of big bowls this end, though, now. Yeah, wants to get under this blow. Can she get under it? She can. Look at the turn on that. That's, that's, she probably couldn't have gone down there and put it in, in a, a better, better place. I think there's got to be a lot more attacking now. No good leaving the head the way it is. Try and get it to those two shot bowls. Make some contact. Maybe you kill it. Restart. Better. Yeah, it needs to give a bit now. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. It gave a fair bit that ball, didn't it? Like it all whipped back. It just didn't quite get that tiny bit at the end. Probably flopping him for another shot there, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a miss here soon, they keep missing. She's nearly a good night. Claire a lot more firmer. Oh, I didn't come oh out of the hand no. real well, unfortunately. Mm. If I can somehow get it out that corner. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'd be going if I was Allison. As we look at the screen to the left, where you can see two bowls of Anne and the one of Claire's, I'd be getting it there, getting just past it, crossing my fingers, closing my eyes, and hopefully hang under the shots. <laughs> the other option is drawing another just short and just trying to cover as well, for shot the shot. Mm. This option's there. I'm in a fair debate over what to play. I still reckon... I don't know, it's hard. This angle. 
if she got the outside of the if the Avonsmore girls got the outside yellow under the jackets chance of going sideways -y. Yarra's got two there but it could even leave them up for the next shot if they can do it mm. it's nearly like a two shot trick yeah it is the one and only Josh Thornton commentating if you want to hear some of his best work head to the <laughs> mixed pairs final mixed pairs final mixed pairs semi final <sighs> I think it was a mixed pairs final, wasn't it? Yeah, head to the mixed pairs final, around the 237 mark. <laughs> He's where he comes into his own as a all commentator. The, all the gibberish at the start of this stream. Because <laughs> there was some good gibberish at the start yeah. of this stream. It's kind of split a few up for the Arrow mm. girls. Right, two big balls coming from Annie here. She needs to make contact with these two balls in front of the jack. Or at least, Josh, probably draw a third shot and... It's extend it in some way. It's not ideal, but it's better than going four be down hitting. and being... I'd be hitting. Two down here means they're eight playing with two ends to go. It makes it extremely tough. Two balls to make a difference here. There she go. Get out of the way, Claire. Got to be close, don't she? I can't even see, oh. me. That ball stayed on the green and on the rink. Do you want to just get Sam to move over, Josh, if you can get her attention? I will in a second. It's hard when the jack's so far up, she automatically yeah. moves out of the way, which is good. Splits up pretty much everything. That wasn't deliberate, but it was a very good result. Right, let's see what Annie's got here. Big, 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 big ball. How'd she go? She's looking wide, Jim. Oh, can she... That'll be a few. I reckon four, Jim. Might even be five, Josh. Two. Surely it's three next to the blue. And this side of the head. Five. Wow. Wow. So the last three ends have yielded 13 shots for the ladies from Yarra. What's the score now, Jimmy? 21-10. 11 up with two to play. This could be the last end, Jim. So Annie and Claire... Needing six and a five or a four and a seven, whatever variations of eleven you need to tie, whatever and variations get, of twelve. And if they don't get three, it's, it's shake hands time. Unfortunately for the Owens Murray girls. And goodbye to Josh Thornton's tipping career with the bowls tipping. And hello, my peacock walk through the office when I get back <laughs> next week. Luckily, I won't be there to watch it. <laughs> ah, we'll stream it, mate. We've done such a good job streaming this week. <laughs> well, we've got a scheduled two ends to play. We not might not have to make the last one. The girls from Ovens and Murray needing to pick up a three or more. So all you do if you're the Yarra girls is just pop them close and get one close, cover a couple of different spots, a oh, couple in the head. And if you could ever pick a start to have when you're 11 up with two ends to play, mm -hmm. that'd be it right there, mate. 
I agree with you, Barbara. It's literally gone bang, bang, bang the last three ends. There was there was a three on end thirteen for the for the Avons and Murray, which sort of put them in front, and then a three back followed by a five and a five from Yarra. So the game just the last four ends just has exploded really. I reckon Sam be just looking to pass now. He got one on. Get behind. Yeah, yeah, Alison. Good balls. Yeah, great bowling. They've been fantastic tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, Alison. Good balls. balls. <laughs> yeah, great bowling. It's nearly, it's nearly uh, hunting time already. I reckon. Probably actually helps. Allison's last bowl. That won't help kill the end, though. No. Yeah, good idea there by Allison. Get one down the back now. Just think the way the head is. Perfect night for some mulled wine. <laughs> How for cold it is. For some wine? Mulled wine. Never had it. Never experienced a, an English winter. Oh, I have. This feels like one. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. Not that many balls left to play. Annie and Claire needing... Uh, Three to of force a, the last end. Bit of a fortunate turn of events in their favour. It from all sides of my family now, mate. Yeah, I see that, Jim. <laughs> no, that may make it harder to kill, too. Yeah, it's got to be like a four unperfect swing of weight, really, yeah.
All right, I think she'll probably look for the kill now. Yep. Oh, <laughs> jeez, reasonably close. There's one. Indeed, two more inside, three inches there. Easy for someone like Annie. <laughs> well, Claire's got another one herself. She's done the hard part. She's opened the doors. Annie will come storming in behind. Where's the buckets? Yes. I don't mind the call for me in. Yard away. Couple yards away. See if it you brings might it in. Spring it out and have half a sniff. Uh, he's got to hang on. Could cause some damage from the a uh, flick ball though. Does. Ish. What does Alison do? Close her eyes, throw a ball down, and then cross her fingers. <laughs> I just think if she passes high in the foreside um, forehand, two you know, eight inches past the actual shot bowl, she's going to finish a very good home mm. of where the jack's likely to go. What's mm, still not bad? I guess for Annie, no. If she can tap that front yellow of Sam's, it'll push forward. Yes, make three. And that'll give him a glimmer, I hope. than I thought she was going to go. She's close as well, you know. I reckon she's got this. Oh, and I went early. Well, it does Another give chances. Jeez. Oh. It does give chances. She just somehow wants to get the yellow ball out. <laughs> well, no. I Tap just it. I think if you play... Tap it for four. Backhand, Jim. Get around. Just skirt the yellow one. And just yeah. make... Or, if you can... Yeah, turn th still maybe turn through on the forehand through the yellow onto the shot bowl, bring all it back a foot. It's going to make All of a four. sudden, they've taken a couple of bowls out of the head, and there's half a chance. The other option with the backhand is you could use your own one of Claire's. Yeah, yeah. To move get off over, it yeah. And then get it back a bit. And then that one of Claire's will potentially roll back with it as well to come into the head. There's options. All of a sudden there's options, eh? You're using some angles there, but... Uh, Still slim pickings, but there's more options now than there was three bowls ago. If Claire can... Claire, Alison can put her bowl exactly where Sam's foot is right now. That will stop pretty much everything. I think so. Even if she sits the two, just in front of the two. Bowls of money's. How'd she go? Could She's be gonna a, get there. Could be a state title winning bowl. I don't think it's gonna reach. Might force that backhand shot now though. Yep. You got options there. We had that out. Oh, 
probably take a little bit of time to decide what to do here. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> they know exactly what they want to do. Right. If they land this, I'm happy to go to the last end because <laughs> it'll be a great bowl. <coughs> right, here we go. Ladies pairs final. Could be the last bowl of the Forehand's game. Forehand still, Jim. Forehand. She just wants to make connection with the yellow bowl to give herself a chance to push the jack back to where she has a few other bowls, which could force us to the last end. How'd she go? First part looks all right, Jim. Oh, Josh. Josh, 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 Josh. Close. Where's it going? Oh. Yeah, a little bit too hard, unfortunately. That was real good. That was a good That bowl. was a cracking effort. Fantastic go. game. Got a game, the shake ends. Yep, we have our winners of the ladies' pairs um, for the state champions. Um, Alison Hall and Samantha Robinson. Huge game, great game. Thoroughly enjoyed it in the cold. Um, had some great support online. We thank everyone for joining us uh, on the stream in the last week. We've seen some cracking games, some good spirits played in and, and a, a great showcase of bowls in Victoria. We're, we're proud of, of all the bowlers um, at Bowls Victoria and we want to say thank you to them for delivering some great games this week. Their flexibility, their happiness to be here, their willingness to, to work with us when we've had to move things around. So well done to all who've competed, well done to all who've come and spectated. Josh, well done to you mate. You've, bar a few minor <laughs> slip-ups, you've done a cracking job. Um, on the live stream Jim uh, thank you for having me here it's been great it's been great to be involved I, um, it's been a fantastic week all the hard work you have done all the hard work to everyone at Bowls Vic everyone at Bendigo East Bowling Club for all their work the guys in Croc Meter and all the work they've done helping us out so um, we want to thank everyone for joining us uh, we've had eight great days and um, thank you again for coming along yep you see Titch carrying Sam's whole time there she's just as happy as anyone here um, yeah stay safe we'll see you all um, when we see you next. Yes, we see you. Take care. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.